Okay, so here we are back in the uh, Shade Tree Fix-It Man shop and we're going to continue on with our project of disassembling this old horn. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, take off this one screw here in the back that holds the cover. And that came apart pretty easily. And I don't know if you can see, but the inside of this is pretty clean. Uh, I think this may be from the PB blaster lifting that paint. Maybe not. But this, obviously, this is the original paint color. So in our investigation, uh, we have already determined, see this how there are no other layers, that the paint on this was originally black. And, uh, so that will take care of that part of our archaeology. And I see also it can tell because of the black paint, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not, but there's a dent right here and there's another one right here that we'll have to address. The rest of it's pretty smooth in there. So we'll set that down here, screw on it. And the next thing we're going to do is try to get these screws out of here. And uh, that may be not quite so easy. Yeah, I'm thinking that we need a pair of pliers for that. I'm hoping that my battery terminal pliers will work. The screw heads are already starting, the slots are already starting to get worn out. This has been taken apart before, obviously, because these are not the original screws. I mean, not the original wires on them. For that reason, I'm not too concerned about preserving them. This wire here may have been because it is a braided wire, but for sure the terminal end is not the original. And, uh, so, let's see if we can get this on here now. Yeah. I love these pliers. I've had these for a long time. Um, channel locks. They're made for battery terminals, removing battery terminal nuts that often get corroded, but they work great for lots of things. And I've had these probably for 30 years or more. Still one of my favorite tools. One of these days, I guess I'll have to do a uh, toolbox video like my friend uh, Musty One did and also 1963 Apollo showing some of their favorite tools. My toolbox is a lot smaller now than it was back in the days when I was working as an auto mechanic professionally. That's many years ago. Okay, now we're going to get in here and Take the mounting bracket off. These two mounting bolts here have straight slot on the inside. nice and clean that is in there. I mean, a little bit of dirt, but other than that, no rust at all. Not at all. Even still has the original um, 
stampings on it. Number seven up here for whatever reason. And this is 801. And uh, can't quite make out the stamp marks on it, but very interesting. By the way, this is off of a 1941 Chevrolet. So all we have to do is take all of these bolts off and uh, it's come apart. Okay, now I'll finish taking that apart and then we'll get back together. I thought it might be important for you to see how this works on the mounting bracket. It actually has big spacers in there and then these uh, screws nuts on that side, then they slide through to the bracket with two more nuts on there. And so once those come off, just slide right off like that. The next thing now is take these two screws out, and then we'll be ready to pull it apart. Double diaphragm, get a nut here in the middle, and it actually does have an adjustment in here so you could change the way it sounds. But it sounded fine when we tested it, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit, and we're not going to make any changes to this, just a little cleaning. The main issue is getting this all cleaned up, and for that, we'll go to our next segment.